I'm Kelly Hushin, the editor of the Trade Tech blog, and we are here with Peter Kokuza, who has been doing some wonderful blogging for us. And you came into the city today for a meeting with ITG, right? Correct. So what were you talking to them about? Um, some of the new and excellent enhancements of their products oh, yeah? and services. Um, um, as you know, I've, I've been trading for many years, mm -hmm. um, and um, it's all about um, expanding your business and, and the newer the newer trade uh, technologies that are out there. And um, ITG is one of the leaders, and they were nice enough to sit down with me and tell me what the, where they've been. Uh, I know what they've been through for many years, and we actually talked about some of the pioneering that's been done over the last 10 years in the electronic trade markets. Mm -hmm. And everything is still evolving, and it's all for good things. And some of the good things that it helps us uh, as traders is uh, you know, quicker, um, and cheaper executions. Great. Yeah. So you've written a few posts for us now. I, yeah. I think the first one was on dark pool transparency, which yes. is kind of a yes. hot button issue. What do you think about that? Dark pool uh, transparency, transparency issue is still one of the the, uh, the most fascinating issues that I've, that I've been speaking about. Um, not, not fascinating, it, it's one of the key issues. Um, many traders like myself um, have been forced to use the dark pools in, in terms of finding liquidity at a, at, a, um, at a reasonable price uh, for our executions. And um, where it was many years ago just a wide open field, dark pools now are being looked to be regulated, number one. Uh, there's been talk of re uh, regulations in this area. And many of the big firms that, that implement the dark pool strategies have now tightened up into giving, let's say, traders a, a wider field of selection um, it used to be a day where we used to put our orders into uh, dark pools and never knew where it went, right. looking for liquidity or looking for the other side of the trade. Uh, now, um, the newer companies that are developing and the older companies that are developing the products that where your, your, your order flow will actually be able to find that liquidity, um, and which is a good thing, and at a reasonable price, but what I like is it's mostly um, disguised. Sure. Where a lot of our orders in the old days would be, would have a trail on it, mm -hmm. and it would, you know, it would kind of be developed into maybe a little bit of leakage. Yeah. The new systems now protect that leakage in order to find liquidity. And I think it's fascinating. And it's still evolving, and it's getting better as we speak. The end of this year would be different than the end of last year. So apologies for the sirens. Obviously, we are in Midtown Manhattan on Fifth Avenue, so you can't really get louder than that. It's better than the snow. Better than the snow, which is coming. So we're gonna, you know, make sure that you get home. Now, where do you where do you live again? I'm in New Jersey. Okay, great. So you make it into the city a lot, or? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very much. Right. All the time. Yeah. Now you said that uh, going back to what you were just talking about, um, you think that this is one of the big issues for the year. Uh, we just started 2011. Obviously, a lot happened in 2010 very as much. far as uh, the financial industry goes. What do you think are some of the big things that we're going to be talking a lot about in 2011? We have Trade Tech, our, our show, coming up at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing or what are you hearing as some of the things that you are going to be kind of the big buzz items? Well, continuing from last year, the, um, the uh, high-frequency trading arena mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. continues to roll into 2011. Uh, in fact, I wrote an article in um, Trade Tech on the end of the year yes. of the top five events of last year and right. what I think will carry through. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely HFT, high trading, um, and how traders can understand that arena and really be, be better off in, the, in that game. Um, because, it, well, I shouldn't say game, it is a, a, an area that traders need to understand. Yes. Um, also, dark pool transparency. Right. What I was talking about with the dark pools, um, more and more traders really want to know where their orders are going. Yeah. And there's a couple companies out there that I mentioned in, in my blog that are actually allowing traders to um, participate in dark pools and follow, uh, follow their transparency or being transparent in their orders. Right. More and more firms want to see that. Right. Um, I, I spoke about regulations uh, from coming and evolving out of the flash crash of last yes. 26. Um, there is a lot on the board, there's a lot on the block, and I, I, I continue to see that evolve. And also, I feel that volume was a big issue last year, and I, and I see 
a better picture and a better arena in trading the volume overall. Yeah. Okay, well, we have the event coming up in a couple weeks, and Peter's going to be there, and we're going to be brainstorming a little bit, talking about some of these issues. So we're going to keep coming back to the blog and, and giving some more updates and some uh, you know industry talk. And it sounds like we're getting beat out by the sirens, so I, I want to let you escape before the snow and, and get home safe to Jersey. But thank you so much for stopping thank by. You, thank you for asking me to come Yeah, by. of course, and we'll see you at the show. Okay, appreciate it. All right.